Luigi Tramontana here from Craft Animations. I am going to show you the humanizer cam. So let's just create a humanizer cam. Now, this camera, you should, I, I would never use it just plainly like this. You can do it, and I will show you the, the that exact way to use it immediately here. But I mean, this is a, a, an effect. So you actually mount this camera on top of your animated camera uh, in your link it or parent it uh, or whatever jargon you use for that but uh, you you mount it on top of the the other camera you align to it and then parent it and then you get the effect on top of that camera so that's actually the way you should use this one I'll just show you quickly what parameters it has here and then you can use it that way yourself it's I mean it, it's got shake modes that uh, could mimic almost anything Okay, so let's see here. I'll just go directly. Well, let's actually put on record here and see what, what this camera does immediately here. Yeah, so you see, this camera gives a sort of non-static feel uh, to, to the recording here. And uh, it, it just shakes the camera a little bit side to side. So if we look through this one, we will see that... We have this uh, handheld kind of feeling to everything. And the way it shakes, it's all up to you. Of course, as I mentioned earlier, you have so many different ways of shaking this camera. So, here now. Let's just try a few... A few... Uh, let's actually do like that, so we see the viewport clearly. We have a lot of presets here, so let's just choose from them. Warmth. What's warmth? Well, warmth is just an almost unnoticeable little movement of the camera, but it makes it feel not. Um, it makes it feel much more organic just by adding this little little movement on the, on the camera all the time. So that's all nice and well. Um, small shakes. Well. And then you have these. Uh, uh, what, what what is uh, interesting with this is just that you just add another level of shake to this one. Uh, nothing special with this. Low threshold, on the other hand, lowers this shaker threshold. So this means that you have a much more erratic um, way of shaking the camera, as you see here. It's it's much more. It's it's like you're on a bumpy ride or something. Then you have, uh, let's see what we have, handheld, normal, that's nice. So, handheld is um, erratic, it, it doesn't react on every little uh, shake that you do, so you have quite a large a sh threshold here, because you s sometimes just all of a sudden you just uh, twitch with your, with your arm, but just sometimes, so that's what this mimics, it, it gives you a very nice sort of um human feel to to it a handheld human feel and irregularity is quite large here the damping factor is how smoothly the shakes are made so you can damp the the erraticness uh, of the the shake here just by changing the damping factor here now these ones are the the size of the shake in different directions <clears throat> so you have your shake here, so that's sideways, pitch shake up down, and roll shake is uh, uh, the Dutch angle thing. So that one's usually quite low, if not zero, actually. Um, except for when you have like a helicopter setting, because the helicopter setting would add a lot of roll here. So if you film from above, you would have a large roll action, because that would mimic you. you actually flying around and 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 uh, yeah it, it gives a nice helicopter feel to it um, now these ones that's the input so I will show you that soon that's the bomb actually so handle nervous then well then we take away the threshold because this guy is nervous he's shaking like mad so that's that and the damping factor isn't uh, it's in, in increased here but that doesn't mean that the damping is larger it's the damping factor so the smaller the damping factor is 
the more damping you get actually okay so that's nervous and uh, and here is for lateral movement this is when you do drive-bys and stuff when you actually miss um, the the target when, when you follow stuff from this for example if you film a an airplane then I would use this kind of shake when the fl airplane flies by you you sort of glide sideways much more so you see here the yaw shake is really large compared to the other ones it just gives this uh, yeah uh, the thing is that this is much more you know when you have it on a tripod then it glides on the tripod and gets stuck you know due to friction and stuff then you have the earthquake and uh, the earthquake is uh, well it's uh, a little bit different from the the handheld nervous because it uh, shakes in all directions in a different way and especially the roll shake is not that exaggerated here so that gives the impression of, of an earthquake and uh, then we have bomb and bomb is just quiet until you see I haven't bound anything here but let's bind an amplitude the up arrow for example to that bomb so if I push the up arrow now um, maybe not it should, uh, oh, maybe I need to stop it let's have a look at that again yeah okay the shaker multiple is zero here which means that it's zero until you press the the shaker amplitude maximum because that's what what the pushing of the the input device does here so you see I press the up arrow like that and you get and as long as I press it I get this this uh, very nasty shake and then when I release it it goes back to the 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 uh, initial uh, initial direction Okay, that's actually all I will say about this one. It's an extremely useful um, camera tool. And as I said before, you stack this camera on top of other cameras because that's where you add the effect of this shake. So do not use this alone un unless you, you have a very special situation where you have a static camera. But moving cameras are much more interesting. Okay, thank you.